I imagine you're tired of driving that Toyota Camry or Honda, and you want a car that can perform, but perform well in all conditions. What's up guys, it's Chris on Motivate and be sure to subscribe to keep up to date with all my future content. So last week I went over top 5 all wheel drive luxury cars under 10k, today I'm going over my top 5 all wheel drive performance cars under 10k, let's get to it. Are you ready guys? Go ahead and put on your aviators and pop your polo collars. The 2001 to 2005 Subaru Impreza WRX. Just like most cars, there are some stereotypes. For the WRX, it's exactly that, popped collars and aviator glasses. I personally like aviators and the cars. And you can grab the pre-design, which I personally like better, the bug eyes, or get the post-design. You will be able to find a WRX under 5k. And what kind of list would this be if I didn't add a good old Subi to the list? Subaru's all wheel drive is superior to many other systems, so no matter the power, the WRX should be able to grip the ground through those tight corners. And these all wheel drive monsters can be built to handle some crazy power. So here is the 05 Subaru Impreza WRX. $8,000 with 121,000 miles, manual transmission which is fantastic and that's what you want when you get a WRX. So this is more of a stock car that I found locally, it looks pretty good with only 121,000 miles, looks like it's been taken care of pretty well, the paint is shining nicely, but the headlights do need a bit of a uh, sanding and a quick clear coat. Exterior is still looking pretty good, you can tell it's been slightly modified with the badge delete and the exhaust and if you look at the front um, the grill got taken out as well yeah, it's an nvidia exhaust proof of the mileage and no check engine lights here's a manual transmission and it has the aftermarket stereo which isn't you know nice stereo and you can install a double dent if you wanted to steering wheel has a little bit of cracking and paint coming off overall the interior is looking pretty solid some sunburn on top of the roof and that's pretty typical and a small gouge in the door which you can send it down and bond it and it'd be good to go overall not a bad deal with all of this yes there are some issues what are they you ask misfire issues upgrade your spark plugs to fix this check engine light due to failed knock sensor blown head gasket due to engine overheating leaking valve cover gasket so you may smell some burning oil in the cabin and there are more issues, be sure to do your research before buying that car and that goes with every car on this list. Mitsubishi 3000 GT I brushed over this car in the past video and this car is easily looked over, when it shouldn't be. This is where John Hennessy began his billion dollar company. The car was way above his time, which means, like many vehicles that were ahead of his time, things break. But with that out of mind, the 3000 GT was meant to handle and plant its feet around the track. Be aware that these engines are pretty expensive to repair, so I highly recommend having a mechanic check out the car before you buy one, or be prepared to get your hands dirty. And you may be able to grab the VR4 model under 10k as well, you just have to do your research and be very patient. 93 Mitsubishi 3000 GT 119,000 miles with a manual transmission. This is perfect. Perfect paint, low miles for $6,000. You can find other cheaper 3000 GTs with higher miles and not looking as nice, but I think it's worth paying the price for the nicer car. Because if it's nicer, most likely the owner has taken care of the car a bit better. It has a quad exhaust, which is awesome. Paint is looking pretty nice. No check engine lights. Proof of the miles once again. Uh, the leather is cracking a bit, and you can go ahead and get leather conditional, which makes this look brand new again. Overall, it's a pretty good deal for this car. So, what are the issues? Delayed shift with automatics, just buy a manual, oil leak from the transfer case, the clutch going out, and the clutch going out is a lot cheaper than a whole automatic transmission going out. Rotors getting too hot and roping, causing shaking when bricks are applied. And in the early models, the front brake hose breaks, so be sure to replace all brake lines for obvious safety reasons. 2006 Audi S4 Audis are cool. So cool that it comes in an Avant figuration. I mean, BMWs do too, but it's definitely not the same. 
Artists look like they're meant to be in an Avant configuration. BMWs are kind of bubbly and bulky and this doesn't match BMW style. No matter what way you get it, because you can have it your way, you'll have grip for days and take down the track with a 6-speed manual transmission. This beauty has Recaro seats and amazing exhaust note. The B7 S4 holds its own in the midst of cars on the streets. 06 Audi S4 now I told you that they can come in Avon and here it is, $6,750 and 142,000 miles. I'll go down a bit on price but the Avon is a bit more rare compared to the sedan version. The engine is stock and it has a lot of upgrades regarding the braking and suspension and things of that nature. Exterior is looking pretty beautiful and it doesn't have any interior photos, but he I'm sure that they would be more than happy to send you some interior photos I'm sure it looks fantastic Especially seeing how well the exterior is looking now the issues the plastic guys within the timing chain system goes out at about 120,000 miles the engine has to be pulled for this job and it's a pretty big bill to have it done so be prepared overheating due to failing thermostat Engine night due to faulty torque converter oil leak from transmission output shaft and there are quite a bit more complaints. These are just the main ones. Do further research and be prepared to have a hefty wallet when you buy this car. 2009 BMW 335i xDrive Now, I know not everyone fits in this non-blinker using stereotype but it still exists and not using them is actually pretty dangerous. The BMW has a 300 horsepower turbo engine that is capable of gripping off-road tires with its X-Drive around tight corners. And this is by far the most luxurious car on this list and it has such a beautiful interior. You're getting the whole combo, including the maintenance bills. 09 BMW 335i X-Drive $7,895 with 150,000 miles. You can definitely find them with lower miles. Exterior is looking pretty nice, clean, crisp paint with a nice shine. They changed the badge, which I don't particularly like. Exterior is still looking pretty good. And I mentioned in the past video that I just don't like these tail lights. Now, this is where I think the 335 uh, shines, and majority of BMWs shine, because the interior. I think they do the interior pretty well compared to a lot of other uh, brands. By looking at it, you think it's higher class and you just feel like you're in a cockpit of a much more expensive car. When you buy it off the line, yes, it's very pricey, but you're buying it one fifth of the price buying it used. And as you can see, he badged everything and it's looking pretty nice. And the, the color of this interior is definitely brings the quality up in my books compared to a black interior. And as you can tell, the seats held up pretty well. Issues, high pressure fuel pump, noise and vibration due to low refrigerant. The 335i has its fair share of recall, so do your research if you are wanting this car. 2004 Volvo S60R. I can hear the comments going, Volvos aren't sparse cars. Well anyways, you are incorrect. Yes, Volvos are fantastic in regards to safety and smooth controlled rides, but they can come with immaculate performance. Without its turbo, the engine output is simply 208 horsepower, now it's 300. <clears throat> performance. Sure, it isn't the most refined car to take down other drivers on the track, but with its odd N95 cylinder effortlessly revving to 6500 RPMs with minimal turbo lag, is fine. 2004 Volvo S60R. For $5,000 you get an automatic transmission with 114,000 miles. Exterior is looking pretty good. You can see the R logo right there. Clean crisp paint and headlights. I like the wheels. Still looking pretty good. Interior is looking pretty fantastic as well. The seats don't look used very much. Proof of mileage, 114,000 miles. This is where Volvo struggle in my opinion. This is just so out of date. You have comfort, sport, and advanced mode, which is pretty awesome for the early year Volvos. The R logo on the steering wheel, which is nice because the R logo is telling you, the driver, that you're driving something special. The door cars look pretty nice. Back seats are a bit cramped as you can see. Even the engine has been taken care of pretty well. As you can see, it's pretty decently clean. And it has a sunroof. What are the issues? There are quite a bit, so here are some. Transmission shifting issues. Front upper strut mounts may fail, causing unwanted noise or bumps. 
electronic auto body filling and there is or was an extended warranty for this about 10 years or 200,000 miles so it should have been repaired keyword should the ABS module filming and once again you can do your further research this is a decent amount of issues but it's still a notable entry now I know there are more superior cars that could be added to this list like the Infiniti G37X but I want to have a more unique selection well that's all for today if you enjoyed this video be sure to press that like button subscribe and if you have the time check out one of these videos that's popping up this is Chris from Automotivate always appreciate one another I'll see you next time